Hey, it's Judy. Read the Stars Astrology. Um, you know, I've noticed that people seem to like knowing what's coming, and this week is going to be kind of momentous. And um, I'm going to try this weekly horoscope for everybody in a video form. Um, we have Uranus coming at us, folks, and Uranus is always up there. It's It's been in the sign of Pisces for the last several years. It caused enough trouble there. Um, when it first went into Pisces, we heard about things like the horrific tsunami. Now, I'm not predicting um, anything Armageddon-ish or anything like that. I just um, want to alert you to the fact that there is a huge shift of energy that's coming. It's going to be arriving this Friday night, Uranus is, in the sign of Aries. Now, Uranus is a planet that is responsible for the feeling of rebellion, of revolution, of change at any cost. We just don't care what's there afterwards. We just want change. We don't like what we have now. So um, that's what's coming at us, and it's going into the sign of Aries, which is sort of like a place, you know, imagine Uranus roaming into a place that's run by a wild ram. Uh, the two of them will be quite happy together, unfortunately, but um, there's going to be a lot of recklessness, a lot of mistakes made, a lot of things that are done out of the urgency of the moment that really would have been better thought out. Now, we can't do a whole lot about what happens in the world, but we can, in our own lives, find a way to deal with what this coming energy is doing. I mean, I don't know how many people have phoned me or bumped into me and said, Hey, Judy, what's going on up there? And, you know, folks, this is what's going on up there. We feel this intense nervousness uh, coming at us. And, um... It's not unusual. You're being, you know, very normal and natural, as they said in American Pie. Very normal and natural, son. Um, <laughs> if you feel a little bit unnerved this week. But let me just give you an overview of what's going on, and you can get an idea. Now, Monday is going to be an important day. Um, the moon is going to be in Aries, where you're you know, kind of preparing the way for Uranus. And on the other side of the moon is going to be Saturn. And Saturn is sort of the opposite energy of Uranus, where it's like structure, limitations, uh, saying no. Okay, and, and so when you go out to do something on Monday, if it is at all something that is going to go against the grain of the way things have always been, I would avoid doing it. I would wait until a little bit later in the week. Okay, the next big day is Wednesday, and on Wednesday we have um, the the Moon and, and Mercury. Um, the Mercury is going to move and make a, a nice little union with Uranus in the last degrees of Pisces, and then it's going to move right on and hit into Aries also, also preparing the way for Uranus. So you have the Moon and Mercury. The Moon in, in World Astrology means the public, and Mercury is communications. Um, Let's see what happens in the world. There are also possibilities in addition to all these horrible outbreaks all over the world. Um, they're horrible because they're so violent. Um, they, um, there could be some disruptions in communications as well, and certainly that's a hallmark of these little uprisings. Little uprisings, or they're not, but you know what I mean, the various uprisings. Um, is, is like they're shutting off the internet for a day or a few hours at a time. They're shutting off access to Facebook on, on uh, handheld devices for a few hours at a time to stop people from communicating. So that's kind of interesting to me. Then on Friday, uh, Uranus is going to come into Aries. It'll be toward the evening here in the United States on the East Coast. It will be slightly earlier for um, those of us who are on the West Coast, and slightly later, more like around the midnight hour and on into the Saturday time for the people in the Middle East and Asia. So um, this is going to be the moment, folks, when Uranus goes into Aries, ask yourself, what can I do in my daily life to calm down? Of course, I suggest some very serious relaxation techniques, meditation, and just waiting before you come in like the classic iconoclast and completely change your life and everybody's around you by, I don't know, quitting a job or deciding suddenly to move away. Some of us need this energy if we've been stuck in a rut. Others of us might need to wait a little while. You have to decide for yourself. Maybe consult with an astrologer near you. 
um, and find out where you are in your life right now and how you can best handle Uranus. And we do have the horoscopes there. We have weekly horoscopes every week. Some are directed and have more of a topic of work. And others are for campus, you know, people who are on campus going through college life right now. And um, although you might not fall in either one of those categories, you can still get a flavor for what's happening with the planets by reading those. And I will try, when uh, events warrant, to give you this video update as well.